Shimano makes this product. Um, what it looks like it's actually a single speed. It's got a 45 tooth ring on it. It's got 170 uh, millimeter length arm. And my thought is that 45 is probably going to be about perfect for me. Um, and uh, that is going to be able to handle 100% of what I do riding to work and back here in St. Paul. And uh, so we're going to swap out this crank triple uh, and replace it with this one. And the new bottom bracket, of course, it came with the bottom bracket. It was uh, it was $150 through Shimano. Um, I also had to purchase the uh, the uh, Holotech um, tool that I didn't have um, for the bottom bracket that comes with crank set. It's been a long time since I've changed a bottom bracket, but I don't think it's too tough. I don't think I have to remove the chain. It helps so you can loosen this nut up first. Probably a good idea to take the pedals off before I take the crank off. And to do that, I had to put the bike down on the ground. Uh, don't forget that the one on the side away from the crank is reverse threaded. Now, I'm hoping I can use my puller to get these off. I don't know if this will still work or not. Let's give it a try. <laughs> it's not hitting anything in there. All right. Take a closer look at it and see what what this is going to take. Oh yeah, I know you can't see this, but there's this is hollow in here, and the tool that I had to remove pedals needs a needs something to push on to pull this out. So um, I put the screw back in the other side, and I'm just putting a bolt in there, and I'm going to see if that will work. I'm not really afraid of screwing anything up here because I'm replacing this whole thing anyways but I want to strip it and make my life harder than it needs to be Get that nice and tight now let's see if I can pull this pedal off without breaking something else okay all right, so it's just coming right off. I'm going to leave it on because i got to do the other side now. All right, what I've done here now is I hit a monkey with this a bit, but I put a punch through the middle of this so that there's something for this to push against. And it seems to be working. I'll show you that. I'll show you what I used in a second. Okay. Here's the punch I was able to put inside here that gave this, because this is hollow, gave it a something to push on. Now, I don't have a tool to get this bottom bracket off, so that's the next step to try to figure out. Of course, this is not the best method, but since uh, I'm just throwing these away anyways, I didn't want to buy the tool, so just a good old-fashioned pipe wrench. does the job. This side of course is reverse threaded. The other side is standard. Make sure you get it right. This was the side with the chain. Oh, I hopefully find out why it was making so much noise. Oh, it's 
a lot of, a lot of metal in there. Um, yeah, it's just it's remarkable how much heavier this bottom bracket is than this one. I mean, it's like three times as heavy. This is what we got in here. I guess it doesn't include the axle, so I guess that sort of makes sense. But the axle is actually fixed on here, so you don't have to worry about the um, pedals getting loose, which is a problem. Uh, this comes with, of course, the other arm then clamps on here. Well, they make it pretty easy for you. The, uh, the bottom bracket is well marked, which right side, and it's got an arrow on it to show it's a reverse thread. Comes already greased, and it even has uh, some uh, uh, thread lock on it. Carefully get this started. You don't want to. You don't want to cross thread this. It's just. I did buy a special park tool BBT9, which is fits right on here. Okay, I guess I could do it with a pipe wrench, but I don't know. Just how tight is 35 to 50 newton meters or 305 to 435 inch pounds? I, I never think in terms of inch pounds. I always think in terms of foot pounds. Newton meters, though, 35 to 50 would put it kind of in the area of about 20, 25 pounds. And so that's not a whole lot. I guess that makes sense because we're going into an aluminum frame. So you don't want to strip it out. So. I am not going to torque this down too hard. I guess I would rather have it be a little too loose than wreck it. So go with that. There. We'll call that good. All right. Now it says insert right crank unit. That'd be this. I want to make sure that the chain is on the right side of the axle here. And this is already greased. I don't want to knock all the grease off. I want it to kind of slide onto it. Nope. Right. Right, a little porous, I guess. It, it, there's all the grease. It wasn't what I wanted to do. There we go. So there's a cap. We're going to put this in here. And this, you hardly tighten at all. Six inch pounds. So our park tool has the adapter on the end to do that. And this again is very finger tight like that. Then it says push in the stopper plate and check that the plate pin is securely in place. I don't know what's a plate pin. I don't know. Oh there. That's what that hole was for. Okay, so that went in. Um, tighten bolt of the left crank arm. Each bolt should be evenly and equally tightened to 106 inch pounds. Okay. I'm just trying to close this gap up here. And it seems like a whole lot more than whatever the specs are. My torque wrench isn't going to fit on the smaller uh, socket. 106 inch pounds, which is equivalent of uh, about five foot pounds. And there's still this gap here. So I don't know if that's supposed to 
be snugged closed. Seems like that will keep going here a little bit. I'm not going to get it too tight. But, you know, it seems like if they were designing it, they would make it so that it closed up snug around that spacer plate. That's about as tight as I want to make it, I think. I'm going to strip that out if I keep... Yeah, I'm going to stop there. Okay, well, I'm going to put the pedals on and we'll give it a try and I'll be right back. I should have weighed this just before I did anything, but um, the bike before weighed about 19 and a half pounds. Now with the new crank set, it's a pound and a half less. That and, and they took off the uh, front derailleur, but that's a pretty significant weight savings. I've been using this now for several months and uh, put you know, many hundred miles on it and I think it's fantastic. Um, you can see that I you can see that I, I did take the uh, this 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 chain guard off which apparently is purely cosmetic or um, possibly some sort of uh, legal requirement I don't know um, but uh, there really was no functional purpose to it. Um, I had to, when I took this off, the chain ring was in the back and just, you know, so it lined up better and also so it looked better. I moved it to the front. Um, and I have to show you something here. I had to put some spacers on it to go um, on the back. That seemed to work out just fine. Even with this bigger 45 tooth chain ring in the front, um, I still have never had to use the biggest one in the back. Um, on even the, the biggest hills that are here, which aren't that big. Um, on the other end of things, uh, down on the 11 tooth, um, still uh, easily could cruise at 30 miles an hour or as fast as I could ever go. So I've never felt like I needed the bigger chain ring. So overall, I gotta say that the, uh, the 45 tooth ring in the front, along with this uh, 11 to 22 in, uh, tooth set up in the back is just absolutely perfect for around here in St. Paul where there just aren't that many hills. Overall, I've been really pleased with the way this works and actually very, very surprised by my average times which have dropped by a mile per hour since I got it. I really can't explain that. Yes, there was about a pound and a half less weight, um, but that doesn't seem to make sense. Um, the difference of the crank arm, this is a 170, the old one was a 175. I honestly couldn't feel any difference, but I, I, I guess since my seat was set at the same, same spot as before, maybe something with the change of the seat height could explain the big speed difference. I honestly don't believe that this would make that big of a difference, but it was a dramatic difference in my average times uh, that that dropped after I added this on. So I'm not, I, I, mean, I guess I can't really say it was this, but I don't know what else it could have been. So it's been a fantastic product, highly recommended.